Hi, and welcome to another educational video on InDesign. In today's tutorial, we will focus on how to add objects like shapes and lines in Adobe InDesign. Let's dive in and create a brand spanking new document. To do that, you can either head to the menu menu and click File, New, Document, or use a keyboard shortcut Command N for a Mac or Control N for a PC. To create a rectangle, you can either select the rectangle tool from the toolbar or use a keyboard shortcut by pressing the letter M on your keyboard. Okay, so to draw your rectangle, just click and drag your mouse. If you want to make it a perfect square, hold down the shift key while you're drawing it. That way, no matter where you move your mouse, it'll stay a perfect square with, with equal side. Cool, right? Alrighty. Now we're going to draw a circle. First, click and hold on to the rectangle tool and then move down to the ellipse tool. Or if you want to be speedy, just set the letter L on your keyboard. Then click and drag your mouse to make an oval shape. Or if you want a perfect circle, hold down the shift key while you're drawing it. Let's have some fun now. We're going to turn hexagons into triangles using the polygon tool. First, click and hold onto the ellipse tool and then slide on down to the polygon tool. Unfortunately, there's no keyboard shortcut for this one. Bummer, right? But hey, if you use the polygon tool a ton, you could always make your own keyboard shortcuts too. Alrighty, alrighty, let's draw some polygon shapes. Let's get started. Just click and drag your mouse to create your shape. If you want to make it perfectly shaped, hold down the shift key while drawing it. But wait, how do you make a hexagon or a triangle with this tool? Here's how. Click anywhere on the page. A polygon dollar box will open. In the dialog box, you can enter the number of sides you want for your shape. For a hexagon, enter six. You can enter the width and height of your shape if you want. If you do, click OK and voila, you should see a perfect hexagon on your page. But if you don't want to enter a width or height for your shape, just hit OK in the polygon shape box. Simply click and drag your mouse to create your shape. Click again on the page, a polygon dollar box will open in the dollar box and change the number of sides to three to get your triangle. Easy peasy, right? Now go ahead and create some awesome polygon shapes. Let's say you want to resize your shape. To do this, grab the selection tool, also shown as a black arrow, or hit the letter V on your keyboard. Then click and drag on a corner of the top bottom side to make it bigger or smaller. Now, if you want to keep the same proportion as the original shape, just hold down the shift key while resizing it. That way, everything stays the same size and nothing gets too wonky. But wait, there's more. You can also hold down the Option or Alt key to resize it from both sides at the same time. It's like magic, so many options and so little time. Let's rotate our shapes. Select it by using the selection tool or the black arrow or hit the keyboard shortcut, the letter V on your keyboard. Place your mouse or cursor just outside of the corners until your cursor turns into a curved arrow. Then click and hold your mouse to rotate the shape around. And don't forget, you can move your shape around with the selection tool. You can also rotate at a specific angle using tools at the top of your toolbar. And if things get a little wonky, you can always reset it back to zero with this handy button here. If you don't see the toolbar up here, don't worry. Just change your workspace. I have mine set for Eccentric Classic, but keep in mind that the toolbar settings might not be visible in other workspaces like a central and review. Okay, it's time to draw some lines. First, select the line tool in your toolbar or hit the backslash key shortcut. Then click and drag to draw your line. Easy as pie. Now to keep your line perfectly straight or in a perfect 45 degree angle increments, just hold down the shift key while drawing your line. This will draw your line from the center point rather than just one side. But wait, there's more. To keep your line perfectly straight and draw from the center point, hold down both the Shift and Option Alt keys while drawing. It's like a magic trick. You can also use the same methods to resize and rotate your line as I showed you with the other shapes. Simply select the selection tool or hit the letter V on your keyboard and place your mouse or cursor just at the endpoints of the line until your cursor turns into a curved arrow. Then click and hold your mouse to rotate the line around. Or Use the rotating angles up here. And if you want to resize your line while keeping both sides perfectly symmetrical, just hold down the Option Alt key while resizing. But be careful, just a heads up. 
If you grab the line instead of the endpoints while holding the Option Alt key, you might actually end up copying the line instead. So make sure you grab those endpoints carefully. That's it. If you've just mastered the art of creating and manipulating shapes and lines by resizing and rotating them. In our upcoming video, we'll take it one step further by adding some cool colors to these shapes. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the next one, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. We'll notify you as soon as it's ready. Thanks for tuning in.